Hiya, hiya, it's Joey Reynolds with an exceptional opportunity. Uh, someone has offered me a position as a secret shopper in Syria, but they want to pay me in bitcoins. Not such a good day. Yeah, well, maybe the first part's okay too. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of my other company that I worked for. I, I had to uh, resign. I owned a tall men's shop in Korea. Uh, we, we weren't doing too well. But I'll tell you the good news, the long wait for neutral bathrooms is over. I mean, you know, now uh, you can leave the toilet seat up all the time. Women are gonna stand is what's gonna, <laughs> well, women don't stand for much, that's for sure. <laughs> but we have things that are not happening now. You know, we don't have anybody to pick on. There's no, there's no big event that 60 channels can do a story on. Uh, they're, they're out of news, a slow news day. It's, uh, it's, it's so slow that they're now doing reviews of movies again. Every time a news is slow, they, they show you film trailers and, and uh, talk gossip. It's all gossip. You know, there's no news anymore anyway. It's all gossip. People get on the air and they tell you what they think. And you've got to read that banner underneath it to find out what the story really is because you can never figure it out. They don't tell you the news. They just tell you what they think of what happened. And isn't that disconcerting a little? That's a big word. Uh, isn't, it, isn't it a pain in the ass? I mean, it really is for you to have to wait to find out, what's he talking about? What's she saying? <laughs> you know, the uh, the weather, they do they do a five-minute weather forecast. Now, I was in L.A. Here's the weather. 70. <laughs> that's, that's the weather. There's nothing. I mean, come on. Speaking of that, there was a big flight uh, problem from Los Angeles to, I think it was JFK. On JetBlue, uh, oh, this guy was swearing up a storm. Did you see this video on it? Um, you know, JetBlue is usually a really cool airline, uh, but they run Cool Blue. But this one, this guy was outrageously swearing and carrying on, and uh, he just wouldn't stop. Complaining because they were out of shrimp and mint, the mint section. You know, they have cubicles now where you can have privacy and sleep all the way on this uh, JetBlue new airplane. It's, it's really kind of nice. Uh, I, it's expensive, but you know, you, you can, you can uh, have a five course meal and uh, uh, well, I, I don't do that because I have ins insufficient funds. <laughs> I got a notice from my bank. <laughs> do, you, do you think when something goes wrong with a celebrity that they go overboard and put it in the paper? <laughs> <laughs> it's a headline. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing going on. I mean, I, I would complain about a lot of things, but you can't do anything about them anymore. You know, I mean, I, I the latest complaint I have is with this uh, FCC. They want to get rid of the Internet freedom by uh, having some of the cable companies take it over and charge us a fee. Well, cable, you already pay for cable anyway. And, and when you pay for cable in your house, and they run commercials, at least with XM Sirius Radio, you pay for the subscription and you don't get commercials, you know? It's one way or the other, but they want it both ways on, on, the, on the internet when they take over. See, that whenever there's some profit involved, somebody figures out how they're gonna squeeze in there and become a middleman. That's what happens, you got, we, we got a country of middlemen. Used to be an agent or, or a manager. Now you got, uh, everybody's got their hand in the pot now, you know, everybody's got something going on where they, where they're taking a piece of the pie. Uh, the pie is so damn small that American Pie by Don McLean is starting to make sense to me. That song, you know, right? You, have you heard that? <laughs> you ever figure it out? <laughs> now there's a brain, put that on Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune <laughs> as a category. Those shows are still on the air Those and, and the price is right. How many, how many years have they gone with that thing? How many washers, dryers, cars, and uh, and trips to Disneyland are you gonna are you gonna get here? <laughs> they got this thing going on forever. It's a forever format, you know. No new game shows, because the the only game in town now is politics, and uh, nobody wants to get in the way of that. Uh, they call it lobbying, but it's really payola. That's what we used to go to jail for in the old days. Well, we'd go to jail for smoking pot too. Now you've just become a dealer. And uh, speaking of that, <laughs> let me recommend my daughter's spiked honey because she grows medical marijuana up in California, which just doesn't have to be medical anymore. 
Now you can go in. It's like going into an adult bookstore. You know, they have a little sneaky passageway and guys at the door, and you feel like you're doing something really dirty. The uh, the adult uh, smoking stores, and you walk in there, and and they don't allow you. They first of all, they don't sell any papers. You know, there's no rolling papers because they don't want to be in the paraphernalia business. You know, they're only strictly in the medicine business. They're giving you the the flower. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They don't sell the thing. ZZ Wider, isn't that what we used to have? I used to be able to roll one, roll a joint with one hand and steer with the other. And when I wasn't doing that, I could roll a joint, I could drink something, and I could steer with my knees. What about texting? I don't want to tell you what I used to do that. Anyway, it's a Reynolds wrap. 